Okay, we are back. Let me take these nerds off hold. <clears throat> We're back. They can hear us, so don't say anything horrible. Horrible. I don't know if that was three minutes or not, but I ran two videos, and I feel like that was three minutes. It like was two seconds. minutes. Well, it is what it is. It is what it is. It is. Here, so. so, sorry I had to cut you off, but I fucking try to limit the video to two hours, and so I had to end it at the two-hour mark. But now we can talk about fucking anything. So I'm actually going to bring Uber Bandit in because Uber Bandit is a swell, swell person. Add to a group call. Call Skype. Bum, 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 bum. Bandit of Uberness. Hello. Hi, buddy. We were just talking about what makes games good and what makes games shitty. And I was like. Dragon. You know what might have an opinion is exactly the protector of dragons might have an opinion on this here matter. So what am I opinionating? First of all, what am I looking at on the stream? Um, you are looking at video from the other day when a team was doing a Velius beta server raid for Project 1999, helping our devs out, and we're very thankful for that. And I went ahead and recorded it and. Decided I should play it during a stream. I wasn't feeling real great, and so I didn't want to stream while they were doing it, but I did want to play the video at some point, so I recorded it. Good shit. And that's what you're watching on stream. And it allows me to be super, super lazy on Monday night. I don't even have to run around and switch zones? I don't have to run around, I don't have to switch zones, I don't even have to be in a fucking game. It's really uh, quite gotta amazing. Gotta say, the, the lack of keyboard's kind of disturbing, though. <laughs> Do you want some keyboard? Uh, eh, it's not the same. It's not the okay. same. There's no zoop zoop yeah. noises. I do watch, miss that watch, old watch. switch keyboard. There we go. I am. Yeah. That's my message writing, but you guys will never know who that message went to. <laughs> <laughs> so, so yeah, we're basically sitting here shooting shit about games and and how games just suck now and uh we're pretty much me and secrets here and i'm sure arg and derabelle we're all pretty much in an agreement that uh you just make a world and throw people in it and see what happens it's called yeah. world making yeah. man world and making well there was it it exists it's not quite an mmo but day z has done it pretty well yeah day z is pretty awesome but it's Day-Z. more of, uh, it's I less of an own. mmo and more of a sort of first person world survival yeah i mean yeah. it's one of those it's, it's the same thing where like if you play it alone like you're a very special kind of person if you only play it alone which is the same as you're a very s special kind of person if you only solo an everquest yeah but, i don't uh, think john rambo would try to play daisy alone i i really don't even know where to even begin on daisy because i've dealt with the zombie survival games before whether it be rust war z daisy whatever z uh, and I'm sorry, Rocket, because you, you've you started the trend for people to cash in on, and that's not your fault, and I feel bad. Please, because I mean, EverQuest did it. EverQuest started a trend for people to cash in on. Sure, that, that is true. Even Sony's doing it now. But um, one of the things I have a problem with, really, is how many of these games are attracting players just because of the pay-to-win mentality that most of the players nowadays have. I mean, you look at games like War Z, and there's a couple other, like, uh, what is that one, Nether? And they all have these big old cash shop buttons in their game that's like, mm. really? And I really just don't like, I don't like the idea of having a, a cash shop in a game. It's like, hey, let's have this magical, especially in a zombie game, let's have this magical care package just drop from the sky that has all of your items in it. Now, I have to say that there are cash shops that can be implemented very well in ways that are actually conducive to a community, especially for a free-to-play game, because, you know, shit ain't free. What um, kind yeah. of things would you like? Like, what kind of things Strict do you think is okay? okay? Yeah, okay. cosmetic okay. only. Is, cosmetics is... are good. I'm okay with, like, little quality-of-life things. Um... The, the system that I am pretty much 100% okay with, except a couple issues, is Terra. Terra does a pretty good job of not pay-to-winning, and yet having a really interesting cash shop. 
I'm really going to have to disagree with you on Terra just because of the plus nining system and being able to trade your uh, subscription time for money. I mean, that that is really a deal breaker. Any game that has subscription time for money, uh, well, let's put it this way. Any game that has subscription on top of a cat shop really is pointless. I mean, the subscription, legit. I did it for a while when I was playing Terra really hard. Um and it was kind of nice. Yeah. Uh, just for leveling and stuff and getting double dailies, other crap. Like, it, it wasn't something that broke the game. And if there were to be a cash up to support a game, it would be that one. Um, I would think Terra would be so much better if they focused on the open world aspect instead of having these stupid battlegrounds. The cash shop that gives you double... Uh, gives you double uh, subscription bonuses when you... Uh, subscribe every month and being able to buy advantages on the cash shop whether it be potions or something else it's it's honestly if you make a good game you're gonna have to charge a subscription and just a subscription only it's it, the, the only reason I I'm going to have to say that is you don't even have to charge a base fee for the box set you could just have people download the game play for free subscribe when they feel it and get that double everything i mean that's the way i look at it that would be the ideal model like even world of warcraft the idea i have in my head is because i've been playing a lot of world of warcraft lately despite hating the hell out of it it's they have a system where uh valor and conquest points have a cap of ten thousand and two thousand or depending on how high your arena rating is per game and or per week and what I was thinking is, why not only enable the ability to have the Conquest and the Valor points caps even be, exist if you had, like, a subscription? So you can, if you subscribe to the game, you'll get the ability to get by Conquest and Valor gear and buy your gear upgrades. However, if you don't subscribe to the game, you'll just be able to play for free with all the content up until level 90, and then you can subscribe whenever you want to. And you can subscribe at your convenience instead of the game's convenience. Yeah, the only deal is the up until 90 part, because let's be honest, for pretty much any MMO like that, the game does not start until 90. That's why they have the option to pay for the free 90s, which I yeah, think is a great... I think that's a great idea, especially it's, considering it only takes four days at max to in World of Warcraft. It's a good idea level. because of what they've done to the game, but... I wouldn't agree that it's a good thing. Like, it's a I good don't think thing it's a good thing at all. But it's dumb as hell. It's dumb as hell for a game like EverQuest. If you started with a fresh 60 character on EverQuest, every time you were to log in with a new character, that would be the dumbest thing. The only reason I'm thinking that is because, one, why would you have to do that? If there's enough population in your game and it takes long enough, there will be people at each level range. You don't have to, like, find people... So many times I've been roped into World of Warcraft saying, hey, let's go make a uh, cash shop that has this item that in there that you can buy at the level 90 because the game doesn't have enough population to support the game prior. You should just make a better game in that case. Which is where the emulators come up again now. Like, <sighs> the, what do you think about a system, though, and I'll take this somewhere else, for the vanilla Guild Wars. And in fact, actually, Guild Wars 2. I absolutely hated Guild Wars 1, and I tolerated Guild Wars 2. Uh, the reason being, the game was too balanced in the first iteration. One of the things I could yeah, never... Yeah, I know. The game, game was fairly broken in the first iteration. I, I mean, like they, they tried so hard to have it balance like there's always five on five fights there's never you could bring your buddies in and change the course of the fight people like that that's what you do on project 1999 when a dragon spawns you bring your uh, buddies in see i think i think that's honestly just a differing of preferences because one of no, my favorite things it about the gp is. or the uh, guild wars pvp was no matter what no matter how long that person had played the game, you two were on equal ground as far as gear, as far as ability went, you know. And so it came down to just skill and knowledge of the meta and thinking about shit. And that's where it was a lot more fun than, say, EQ or WoW PvP, where it's, well, 
I haven't ground for three months, so I'm going to just straight up lose until I finally scrap enough together to start winning something. Because here. I, uh, I am going to have to look into chat real quick, and someone said Guild Wars 2 um, suffered probably from the same issues the first game has. It was too balanced, once again, and what, what ended up happening now is they started to add in the concepts from other games, like Honestly, I'll be honest, the Dark Age of Camelot formula works great, but only in a game like EverQuest situation. When you start, like, Warhammer Online, that was hyped up. That was going to be perfect. That was going to be the end-all Dark Age of Camelot experience. And what it came down to is, it's just a glorified World of Warcraft clone with instance content that makes no sense. And that's really what it comes down to, is instance content is bad. Maybe it's just a personal preference. I don't know. Yeah, I... I'd have to say, I agree on Guild Wars 2 not being um, the best. It was not... It, was, it tried to be it. something it they bad. weren't. I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of like Champions Online versus City of Heroes. Um, City of Heroes was a great game. Champions Online was terrible. Because they, they caved into the market in numbers. Whereas I mean, they should have just stayed with City of Heroes and just... If it wasn't for NCSoft, the game would be running for now. That's what scares um, the hell Final out of me. Titus, sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Final Titus, that is actually not a guide. That's one of our developers. That's Alan Nova, and that's the beta server. Yeah. And yes, he is in the A team right now, just uh, following them around, watching what they're doing. Yeah, he's only in that guild for <laughs> guild chat, as far as I'm aware, on the beta server. Yeah, and yeah. to just watch and see how they're doing and, yeah, listen to their guild chat and that kind yeah, of thing. Clearly, uh, clearly if hacks, you've, negative progress being If you've been clearing on the beta server at all lately, you've probably had Alan Ova nearby. Yeah, he's not actually in the guild as a member or anything. It's just for CSR reasons to monitor the beta event. That is what's going on. Guides and guilds on the beta server. What's next? Instant level 6 stone. Oh, never mind. We, uh, we invite some conspiracy theories, though, on GM favoritisms and such. It's like yeah. our favorite thing to do. I really feel like there's no GM conspiracy theory that I haven't heard by this point. Oh, man. <laughs> so many. So I would actually encourage the chat to, to think of GM conspiracies that me and Darabell haven't heard yet. Be more creative. <laughs> at least entertain us, you know? Right, right. If you're going to um, insult our integrity, entertain us while you do it, please. Rogan knocked, down, by the way. Rogan knocked down the towers, just saying. Oh, we know. <laughs> I read it on the internet. <laughs> I heard TMO knock down the towers. Rogan is TMO, Darabale. Oh, gotcha. Jesus. And the missing link. TMO and Sirkin is an IB, of course. And, mm -hmm. uh, and I'm actually in a guild called Super Happy League of Friends, which is silently botting. You're actually still in Super Happy League of Friends, Secrets. <laughs> I am? Yeah, you're actually <laughs> the guild leader in the database, and your character's still there. Oh, my God. Yeah. I mean, you're, you're banned, but you're there. I know I'm banned. <laughs> I know I'm banned, but that's also my Let legacy. See, you should delete that guild at some point. Can. You should delete that guild at some point because it's because the titanium client can only hold two hundred or five hundred and twelve guilds. Oh, so well, you're I don't know if that's true. Guilds. We have way I, more. That five hundred and twelve. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, right well enough, actually, you're not just banned, secrets. You're deleted. And right now, we have six hundred and forty-six guilds in the DB. Oh. Four hundred and sixty-two. What did you say? Actually, you're not banned. Your management suspended. Oh, wow. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> which is, which is like being banned. How, worse. how long is he management suspended I don't for? Know. Let me see. Probably like 10 years. I've never seen a management no, suspension. No, when, when, you're, when you're management suspended, you're just banned. Oh. It's just a different status, apparently. But it just says management suspended. There's no release date. That's <laughs> sad. Yeah. Uh, well, you know, you know, we're not going into that. I know wait, what I did, and it's wrong. Wait some time and, and ask Darrow Bale to unban you. No, <laughs> right. uh, that's not a terrible decision, to be honest. Right, exactly. Well, yeah, once it says management in front of it... <laughs> well, Zara yeah, Bale can pass it to the proper people. It's completely out of our hands, yeah. We're I would done never for ask for an unban on that account no. anyway. No. Well, we would, we would never ask for an unban on any of the management. I'll tell you why. I'll tell anyway. you why. Um, well, the reason why I don't need GM access or developer access or any of that crap is because I don't need it to actually do what I do. 
I mean, when it comes down to it, if you're smart enough, you'll be able to contribute without having the server source code. You'll be able to make the perfect experience for everyone without actually being involved. You hear that, Salty? <laughs> <laughs> oh god, Salty. Sorry, he bugs me about that all the time. Um, honestly, at, it's not directed at Salty, but he does ask about the server source. All the lot. time. All the time. Uh, I, I really don't, I really don't know why you'd want it, to be honest. Uh, there's nothing in there that's not an eco emulator. There's a whole pack protocol. There's a few things off, like movement position updates, but if you're smart enough, you'll be able to figure that out. And why hasn't anyone figured that out? Because we're not smart enough, and that's the way it looks like. <laughs> a plus. And, I mean, there's a lot of people that have contributed to the P99 source code. There's a lot of people, a lot of man hours. It's not something one asshole is going to do in his bedroom overnight. Exactly. If you want to make there's something three like that. Work put into it. This is the same thing that EQ Classic is on about. I mean, when you spend so much work on that trilogy client, just, just to have someone go and screw you over the next day, because they just want to be popular. That's that's not a matter of professionalism or being it better than someone. That's a matter of being lazy when it comes down to it. Yeah, I mean, Nilbog had the right idea. He just wanted a classic server. He didn't give any shits if anybody played on it. And, and just kept doing the things he wanted to do and brought in devs who wanted the same things that he wanted and that's how p99 got started exactly with like like minded goals and it, it good help is hard to find and if you think you can do it better then do it better that's that's the challenge Dillbug has offered and when you say you can't do it better then consider why can't you do it better yeah i mean a lot of people like to uh be like oh well you got rid of the uh the con color box but you you're not and because it's classic but you don't make us look at maps or i'm sorry at, at the book when you med and it's like one thing has just because you know you can fix one thing doesn't mean you can fix another thing there are certain limitations that can't just be done right away maybe in time we'll find a way to make it work but i'm pretty sure nilbog has gotten eerily close to that if nilbog could wave a magic wand and make it a complete classic UI and just completely classic everything how it was back in the day. He would do that. And he wouldn't give any shits about your 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 pet button things or your, your UI or your metting spell books. No shits would be given. Could the UI even work at modern resolutions? Like Uh the would UI so would. Big. Uh Harakiri over at EQ Classic recently got the UI working in 1920 by 1080 resolution. I'm pretty impressed by that because DirectX 7 is very hard to work with, at least can for me. Can you do like 16.9 and 10? 16.9 uh, and 10? What do you mean? Yeah, because um, fucking my brain is failing me, but you I know one of those is really... 480? Well, no. Um, like my screen is 1050 by something weird, you mean by 1680. 1680 16, by 1050. 50. Yeah. 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 That's a widescreen resolution. He said he got yeah, yeah. both of them working natively too. Uh, it was between I, 10 um, nine or uh, yeah, 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 something and again, nine. And that's um. And by the way, uh, what I think Sergeant talked about this last stream, but uh, uh, bands are an exercise in futility. Can you agree to that? Oh, I gotta see where you're going it with it. It depends. Yeah, I want to see one of it. I'm saying when you ban someone from the server on the forums or something, you, you, you gotta give them a second chance. Entirely on the person. Okay. Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Finish what you're saying. I think you were going somewhere. I thought you were going somewhere else with that. Finish what you're no, saying. No, I, I meant when you ban someone off the server. I mean, when you got the IP bans for someone, people can bypass IP bans, and if they want to clean up their act, you give them a chance. But if they've already right not clean up their act, then they're not given a second chance. I have yeah. had way too many second chances. I'll, I'll go with what I was saying before. And it depends entirely on the person. Uh, some people you know may change, may get better, and some people you just know are not going to. Um, and then when it comes to actually trying to remove somebody from the server, it depends on who you're trying to remove from the server. Because you're right, some people do know how to circumvent that kind of stuff. And some people just don't. So Some people does. do it get banned repeatedly and do it anyway. A good right. example of that would be Abacab. Right. 
I mean, he, he keeps doing it repeatedly and comes back, gets banned again. Right. And, that, and that's just a nuisance, but at the same time, he's not allowed to play here. But for every person like Abacab, there's three or four people that if we IP ban them, they're just like, fuck this place, I'm done. Right. Exactly. And it's like, all a psychological game, almost. Yeah, I mean, it is futile in a way because if someone wants to get around it, they can. And that's why, like, when w- w- ugh, when we ban people, we say we ban accounts, not people. Because yeah. you, you really can't get rid of someone if they try hard enough to get back. All you can do is say, you're welcome to come back on a new account, play by the rules, or we'll, we'll ban this one too. And yeah. uh, so, I mean, that's the approach we take. There's very, There's probably two things that you can do that we won't be willing to give you a second chance on. Um, there's more than two. Exploiting, <laughs> duping, uh, RMT selling. I forgot about duping. Cheating, uh, third party programs. Cheating of any kind. Yeah, I was thinking program. RMT and, and third party. Yeah. I say I banish mean, them to the beta server. But either way, there's only a handful of things. There's only a couple things that we won't even consider unbanning you for. Right. Unless you, even when you, I mean, we've had players who lost their shit and went crazy. Oh, yeah. And we ignore all of that and we're like, have fun. You can create a new account. I mean, if you th- if you don't cause any shit and create a new account, what's to stop you, right? Yeah, uh, we're I think we're pretty fucking lenient personally, and I know that a lot of people are gonna disagree with me on that. But I tell Sergeant this all the time. I think we're really fucking forgiving, and we let a lot of shit slide. Um, and I think that we work really hard to not just ban people who do wrong, but to try and actually fix them and make them do the right thing next time. Um, and I think that's that's a. a something that's really important for us to to keep doing i i think honestly the way that you guys handle things is absolutely way better than i would handle things just putting that out there Thanks. because because thank you that's awesome because you guys are able to take crap from people and not dish it back out to them but instead just ignore it i mean when it comes down to it at the end of the day you just gotta relax and that's what i never got for the longest time me and, and dunk on people. Me and Darivale have have very very similar senses of humor, and and there's something about RNF that we do find entertaining. And when people say certain things in RNF, we just were like, it's fair game because they're doing it in RNF, and we'll try to give it right back to them. And and I know people hate when the staff trolls them, but all I can say is like don't troll us and we won't troll you back like we don't start it but we definitely know how to do it and and it can be really frustrating when you need help and and i'm just trolling you it makes rnf way more interesting when you guys chime in with your little dunk gifs it's dangerous sometimes when we chime in <laughs> you have to choose the time See, and place to post that. the dunk yeah, very yeah, carefully a lot of shit for that sometimes yeah when, <laughs> when i was yeah, a gm I, was I mean, from the players, we don't. I mean, you know, I, yeah. I feel like I feel like we keep it PC, you know, when we go in there. But some people feel like it's inappropriate, so just my, get glass uh, everywhere. My opinion on the whole people. Um, what was the question? Uh, what was the topic? The question was, uh, how do you feel about being terrible ducking on people? My brain right. just went to sleep. This is the right. FBI talking at this point. I'm sorry. Sorry, I was talking over Dara real because I wanted to troll you again. Uh, Elvis you Spinster, I, I want to specifically address this. If you have that problem, you should PM me on the forums. Specifically for that, you should send me a PM. And sorry, we can go back to talking about us talking shit in our net. We don't talk shit. I shouldn't say that. No, I've talked People shit. You get ostracized for doing that, honestly, I... because when you make an action as a staff member... When I was a staff member, I used to get in a lot of crap for saying shit that I shouldn't have said. And you know what? You got to realize when you're in a position of power that everything you say is, can affect someone. Be like, right. oh, th- th- someone at Cir- Cirkin says blah, 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 or I say blah, 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 or something like that. And all of a sudden they're like, hey, dude, you can't say that. And that's, that's something you just got to come to terms with. You got to ask before you do, basically. Right. I, I will say that there have been many times where 
it's absolutely been necessary when some person gets really up in their shit and uh, gets needs to get knocked off their high horse where things have gotten a little bit caustic, right? So there can sometimes I like, I like knocking sometimes, people off of horses. Sometimes you gotta you gotta throw a little firepower to get them off their horse. Horses uh, are not classic, by the way. So I will admit that that has happened a few times. But I'd like to think that whenever we step in there, it's to to spread logic and reason, not to spread hate, right? Logic right. and fairness. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't uh, resist. <laughs> that's like the best post of the last couple Serkin of years. Serkin just got the FTE on that conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Without logic or fairness. None would, would be applied. Would dating a woman at the same time she's dating two people, would that be considered for us to engage? Um, Wait, say that again? Yeah. When a woman's dating two people and at the same time and none of them know about it, would that still be considered first to engage? Or? I think whichever yeah. dude got there first gets FTE, right? Yeah, FTE. Yeah. I mean, that. Yeah, yeah, that's that's that dude's mob, basically. So Her nether regions shout an FTE message. Right. <laughs> right. I don't know. It sounds a lot Michael. like a rotation. <laughs> a rotation? <laughs> I just yeah, hope well, it doesn't get to... touched. Yeah, you got to determine whether you are a class C or class R guy. Oh, That's... dang. I don't know if I want to be a class R guy in that situation. No, no you definitely, don't. definitely not. <laughs> you don't. What's my slot in the rotation, you guys? <laughs> uh, By the way, the dragon all the gets bosses slain. with the class C don't want it anymore. Right, right. <laughs> How do we move to class C? Well, <laughs> you got to get FTE on a, on a VP bitch. Oh no! <laughs> I am. I'm just thrilled. This is. This has been a great night tonight. <laughs> it's been Monday good. nights are always good. There's yeah. then Monday nights never go wrong. Like, unless oh, wait, no, okay, they sometimes, do. sometimes, yeah, sometimes <laughs> they go wrong, really wrong, bad. Actually, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sometimes it's it's not so good. Tonight's been good though. Tonight's been a good night. Fucking every, every once in a while we have like the propaganda machine for some cause comes on and we don't even realize it's gonna happen and the next thing you know we're two hours deep and, and we're still talking about who fucking knows what. Oh, we're allowed to do that? Let me get uh let me get my it's, legal pad. <laughs> that's that's how so it goes. Pull out it, all your causes and jump dump them right here. We just ramble until something catches all of our interests. And, I mean first uh, we had young doctors and now we have young, young lawyers, I mean Oh, we mm -hmm. have a young, bustling economy now. We got young accountants and everything. Mm -hmm. I know. I mean, Project 1999 is really going off with the uh, We even have like, homeless doctors. people. I know Hold about up. somebody working on a project that involves a bunch of Twitch streams that I can't talk about until he says he can talk about it. But when he does, I think it will make everyone really happy because I saw a little bit of it, and it looks really cool. That sounds uh, amazing. I, yeah. I see what you're talking about. Do you see what I'm talking about? Do you have some what inside information about, about what I might first, be saying? What was the first sentence of that? Uh, that certain people might have secret projects. That was not the first sentence of that, but that's fine. Yeah, a, a stream rotation would be cool. Twitch like, plays EverQuest. Twitch plays EverQuest. Someone. I'm just Please have Twitch plays P99. Let's do that. Oh my lord. That would be awesome. That would be hard as shit with the Twitch <laughs> delay. <laughs> what class would it have to be? Ranger. Oh, god damn it. Oh, god, no. That wouldn't. <laughs> barely, that barely works with one person playing. Magician. Magician. Necro. Necro would be a good second choice, yeah. Bard. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking bards. You just have one, two, three being spammed in the chat. Bards are the worst. <laughs> Oh no! I, I I'll be honest, and you guys are probably gonna hate me, but I play a bard. That's okay. A lot of people play bards. Yeah, a lot of people play awesome. bards. In Burn yeah. Woods. And you know what? A Dude, lot Burn of time... Woods. Burn Woods. It's fine if you're a bard in Burn Woods. I don't <laughs> think anybody actually goes there to do anything, to begin yeah. with, unless they're going after epic pieces, right? Yeah, it's yeah. only Ixablat and bards in that zone. Like I'm good with bards in Burning Woods. I'm totally. I'm even okay with them in over there, as long as they stay away from those little ramp groups and uh, i mean i don't know why you'd group up and over there to begin with i think it's a horrible zone to do that but I mean, some people do and, and if you want to do it if you want to do it that's totally oh, fine shit. if you're a group and you want to level and over there 
You should have plenty of mobs to kill and barge to stay away from you. But so burning can, wood, um, I don't give a the, shit about. Can you see if you get Rogan to turn you into a banker? Um, like, you can turn your class into a banker. I don't even know if it'll work. Why would I want to turn my class into a banker? I don't know. I mean, I turned myself into a merchant the other day. <laughs> No, seriously, I, I started doing that Project M thing, and I was testing it out, and huh. the uh, it randomly gave me a merchant in each common lens. I don't even know and what to I, say about that. He's I was putting just running around as a Crazy ideas in our head. I would love Project M on P99 so much. Yeah, I would Project as well. M is pretty awesome. And actually, I have an idea of how to do it on P99. I mean, you know, you know that enter tutorial button? That's on the UI when you log in or return home or one of those two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wonder if we could just turn that into a uh, a system where you can just press the button and it spawns in as a random monster. And I'm would feeling be cool. lucky button. Yeah. <laughs> and you can't leave the zone out. All the standard Project M rules. You know, I'm going to try this. Like, I'm going to see what I can do and make a test server, put the code on GitHub for it, and we'll see how it goes. <laughs> I mean, maybe P99 can integrate it someday. That'd be awesome. I, like I said, I would, I swear to God, every single day I would log in as a monster and I would kill somebody. I would suck golf balls through a hose for Project M. I, I would like to stream that. Please. That's incredibly revealing. <laughs> yeah, I've, turn that I into mean... a Kickstarter. <laughs> <laughs> Stretch goals for additional it. golf balls? Oh, shit. <laughs> Hold on. A 10k will throw in a lava lamp for every uh, donator. They're real Skype. Um, uh, no, I didn't. What? That's the thing? Off topic forum section. I can't go there right now because it'll show up on stream. But Who wants the honor of explaining what Project M is? Uh, yes, I see it now. Hey, Secrets, why don't you yeah. tell these wonderful... Li you know, let's take a minute, just because it's been a while. Uh, yeah. And so everyone can get their voices. Secrets, say hi to these people. Let them know who you are. Hi, I'm Secrets. I'm Secrets. I do things on EverQuest Emulator. I do things that are really cool. They are lots of things. They're not specific things. They're lots of things. I do a lot. And... What I've been working on lately is um, Project M, uh, just a clone of it. I'm going to put the code on GitHub so you can all clone it and make your own Project M server. That doesn't have any, like, it's not classic, of course, yet. But I have that. I am working on the EverQuest for Macintosh clone. Uh, it's an emulator for the EverQuest for Macintosh server, which uses the both of the uh, EverQuest for Macintosh client and PC hack that was released and lastly I've been working on the shards of delay at 2.5 upgrade which is actually turning out pretty well and those I think shards of delay has to be the closest thing to classic I've ever seen it, that it's custom but it's classic it's really cool Arg are you with Arg. me hi yeah, there I'm here. tell these okay. people who you are um, I'm just some dude who plays here on the server Mm -hmm. He plays a barbarian named Arg. He's a member of the A team. He is an officer, I believe. Stand yeah. up guy. He he is. Arg, he is do you remember that time guy. that we were on the boat and you had the whip? <laughs> oh man, that sounds so bad without any context. <laughs> yeah. I didn't even fucking think of that before it came out of my mouth. That, um, there's been like three times mm, that that's happened, actually. I remember one specific time that it will always stick I, in my memory with maybe a bunch of erudites. And, uh, <laughs> whoa, it's getting that worse. Was, that was good. Yeah, that was that time. Great. When you, when you uh, summoned that, all the, uh, the boats in EC. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> it was great that you whipped out a whip. That just, it cracked me up. Anyway, sorry, let's move on to uh, Urban. Was that like three puns in a row? Jesus Christ. I don't know. I think my brain just exploded. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Uh, Uber Bandit, who yes. are you? Yeah. Who who are you? I'm broken. Oh, <laughs> 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 uh, have to watch this dragon get killed on repeat. Listen, listen, listen. Funny story. When this is recorded, this dragon kill, 
I'm not even in my house. I went to the gas station <laughs> nice. and fucking left the recording thing because I know how many hit points it has. I'm like, they're going to be doing this for a while. I got time. And I just got my shit together and left. It was so wonderful. I'm going to link some things in chat real quick. Uh, this is the EverQuest for Macintosh emulator clone that you can fork, contribute to, and basically run your own server of it if you want to. Mm -hmm. uh, that is the code that I just linked in the channel. Um, there is also the um, Shards of Delaya project, which you can look at shardsofdelaya.com. Uh, do you guys mind if I post a link to that? No, no, go ahead. Okay. There I you have go. a lot of respect for the people of Shards. I do as well. All of us at Eco Emulator really do. In fact, some of us work, like I said, on the 2.5 upgrade project, which will be moving their client to a modern uh, client. They're actually running on a client from the gates of Discord era. It doesn't have oh, any wow. new modern things. So it's, as cl it's, it's, it's outdated as heck. And it's going to be a lot of work to get it upgraded. But a majority of it's done. Well, that's, that's all A+. Plus. I mean, the, the idea of goal would be have them on the EQMU server list just like Winter's War was back in the day, and that's going to be great. Uh, it used to be, like, the big thing that everyone played on prior to P99. And now that P99's out, their population has died out a little bit. But I think, I think uh, this upgrade's going to help their population once they get back on the list again. And yeah. I, I honestly think that making your own world like they did is something great. And I hope that P99 continues the same thing when they do this custom content stuff. You know, when all is said and done and, and people get over their classic boners, I would really love to see, and I know it will probably never happen, but I would love to see what kind of like custom zones and world the P99 dev team could actually put together if they just pooled their resources and, and buckled down on it. I'd say about 80% of the time that I spent on the project was re researching um, what should be classic and what's not. Remove that, oh my god, so much would get done. Yeah, Nilbog says, sorry, I was muted. Nilbog says the same shit all the time. He spends so much time doing research that it just completely hampers the shit out of time that he could spend actually doing things. Um, sorry to cut in, Nix. I didn't go to Chive Fest in Seattle. Sorry, I wanted to answer your question. Boo. Why not, Darabale? Darabale, who are you? Mm, who are I'm you? Darabale. I'm the investigations GM on Project 1999. What do you? Uh, what does that mean? It means that I investigate things. Did you get moved to an office with a window or something? Like, is this a, <laughs> is this a new thing for you? <laughs> well. I have people... many, many Sorry. tools and resources and people at my disposal now. Funny story, so, Uber Bandit. His office doesn't have a window. It has an open roof and yes, no walls. Does. No walls. It's a tiny little <laughs> ledge on the edge of Kern's Tower at the very top. <laughs> There's actually something funny about that. There is a little spear in the middle of Kern's Tower beyond the zone line. No idea oh, what yeah. it does. No, there absolutely. There's actually a tiny little bit of ruins. If you're in, uh, if you're in Field of Bone, you walk into Kern's Tower. And you don't zone. There's actually like some ruins at the bottom of the tower. Yeah. It's really weird. Uh, in the field of bone zone. But anyway, case yeah, my office is at the top of the tower in field of bone on one of the little ledges. He's the guy that will cause you to sit in soul B all day just to get freaking banned. Just to get fucking banned. <laughs> um. So what I wanted to say was that if you are listening for the first time tonight, you should follow. We do a stream every Monday night at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard. Uh, usually we branch out a little bit more tonight. We've been a little bit more P99 focused. Um, generally we branch out a little bit more, talk about some more stuff. Um, mostly this has been talking about, uh, developer stuff and that kind of thing. I we haven't usually... mentioned breakfast burritos, not one single exactly, time. Exactly. Exactly. Usually we branch out a little bit more, but so if you enjoyed the stream tonight, click follow, come and, uh, listen to us again on next Monday. Hooray! It's a great way to get insider info. We release, you know, stuff nobody's ever heard on the stream before all the time. Sometimes um, we just make shit up. You hear it. You hear it first. Shit up. Insider info you and know, favoritism at the you stream. You get to know us. We get to know you. It's really cool. So if you enjoyed it, click follow. We like follow. getting to know you. And if you don't know, or rather if you don't play here and you want to, www.project1999.com. Go there. It has everything you need to start playing Definitely for free. Definitely better than any any other game out there.
And fun fact for the viewers that have followed and want to show their support, you can hit follow again and again. Nope. And again. Nope. Don't listen to him. That just, because... that just spams. That just... just spams my email. And Uber Bandit loves doing it. And you can you can do that. And um, yeah, just press the follow button. Yeah, it, it links up. No, it links directly to the stream. You can smash the follow button and get direct sound feedback from Serkin's phone. It's like <laughs> you. It's it's how you have your voice in the stream. Make your voice heard, chat. Don't Spam that follow button. Just gonna put my phone on silent. If you, if you do the follow button, I'll do the things for you. God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I don't know why that cracks me up so much. Tracking on. It's like evil. I'm telling did you. you. Get the, did you get the trap system working yet? I have the trap system working. <laughs> oh, god damn it. <laughs> We need, to get, we, my we, need, trap guard. we need to get sense traps and we need to get disarm trap working right away. I, right away. I thought you were going somewhere completely different with that. Did you? <laughs> I didn't even know where I was going with that. So, oh. so you, can you just like, like, could you do that for an entire day or does that shit hurt? Oh, it, it, it doesn't hurt me at all. I could do it for an entire day if you really wanted me to, but. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Like, yeah. I, can, I I heard it break. You're good. You're not that good. I am that good though. <laughs> Gotta stay in character. Quick into character. <laughs> Darabelle, you need some sort of a uh, famous detective pun for your name now. <laughs> uh, what? Like a whole new name completely? Something no, like just, uh, just to like a title yourself as. Da -da 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 -da. Like, uh, Inspector Sarkin. Sherlock gnomes or something like that. <laughs> oh, that would be, be a something, plus. Needs to be something lizard based though. It's got to be like right. yeah, uh, that's what I was thinking. Hmm. Hmm. Was it Sarkin a dark elf in game? Me, I've never been like as as Sarkin. Yeah, yeah Sarkin. Yeah. yeah, that's yeah. what I figured. Uh, yeah, to I can't answer her. In chat. Uh, yes, yeah, so let's secrets. <laughs> Oh, god damn it. <laughs> um, Olaris wants to know how much longer until Velius. Uh, why don't you log in and beta test and tell me how much yeah. more is to go? <laughs> it's at that point where it just needs to have we need more testing. people thrown at it. You see this video? This is people beta testing. Good, good people. Thank you to these people. And these everyone are good else. People. These are good test. people, you know? Great people. They do a lot. God damn. So many god True, damn it. Truly benevolent folks over at the A team. I'm Rip pretty sure open. you don't have to be in the A team. I'm pretty sure that it's open and you just log in, shoot one of them and tell. They'll get you tagged. I know Alanova was here. I was here. We And I, I can log in as a staff member on the beta server now. So, um, yeah, and if uh, if you're not in a guild on beta, I think uh, Inglorious Bastards raids on like Tuesdays, and they usually let anybody else come along with them. Yeah, Tuesdays another open raid on uh, on beta. Just you know, if you're going to show up and help these people, don't be a dick. You know, if if the dev is like, I need you know, we need you guys to test this mob, then test that mob. Um, don't don't train them. Don't do stupid shit to ruin what's going on over there. That's testing. That is legit just helping the staff get Velius out to you faster. So go there, be good. And and Arg, what day do you guys try to go out there? Is it uh, Thursday? Yeah, Thursday and Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, I'd go on there, but uh, the problem is uh, my board is 51. I can beta buff, but I, I, I really have no interest in that. What should I do to get myself interested? Um, level since you're 51. You can that box is true. on beta. Tell them can you can box. There you you have beta buff. Here's you what you do. Slot with yeah. one you no, listen, listen. None of that is fun, Secrets. Here's what you do. You create a, a new vent name and you log in and just say you're some girl named Sarah. <laughs> And that Hi, you're from, from <laughs> exactly, and you're from from some some scrub guild, and then just wait Brazil. for dude I to send you tells, and they'll be like, "Hey, lady, how about I give you pixels on the live server?" And you'll just be like, "Done." And then next time you come on stream, 
you can just tell us about all the pixels you've accumulated from dumb people. I should do this. I'm going to do this. Your character has to be named Catfish, though. Catherine? <laughs> oh, oh, oops. No, Catfish. Oh. oh. God damn it. <laughs> uh, is it too soon? I feel, because I don't know. My filters are fucked. <laughs> is it too soon for what? Catherine jokes. Um, yeah, uh, there's a nine-year rule on See, any I said, recent tragedy. So I want to make it clear that I said catfish and not Catherine. We're not even getting over the Sean Woolley thing yet, so I mean, it, oh, really? Who? I'm over that. Who's not over that? I don't know. Yeah, I'm. I don't even feel it's appropriate for me to say how over it I am. That's how over it I am. <laughs> Well, this is, uh, I, I actually got Sorry. called a picture of uh, a, a picture of one of Nirvana's albums was on sale at Wildwood, and, and my uh, friend says to me, "That picture is mind blowing." That was horrible. Like I got a pee. Uber Bandit, you're in charge. All right. Well, Lab Monkey wants to know if there's any plans to prevent some guild from locking down a mob for the key to Cobalt's no, car not. industry. No plans. Shit's classic. Um, probably. So there's no there's no plans to do that specifically. Um, I won't comment if there's anything else in place for. I won't comment on whether or not we're discussing something to be in place for that. Like like what's the issue for that key? Like, um, you have to go. Uh, and I don't. I don't really. There's want to one move. mob that you have to kill. Right. To get into Cobalt Scar, basically. Ah. Uh, oh yeah. wait, that's a Valley of Stone, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Is it going to have first to engage mechanics? What, the mob? Yeah. Probably. I think. And, and the issue with it is you need to kill him so that you can get to um, Western Waste. So there's going to be a huge bottleneck. Is. Yeah. My speculation would be that probably not anything's going to be done with it until it becomes a problem. Oh, it'll be a problem. That'll be the the absolute first well, yeah. shit show I mean, as soon as it's like you can bet on it, but you can't officially take a stance until it actually happens. No, uh, so you can't uh, you can't actually port anywhere that you haven't already been. Uh, oh, okay. Because you need to pick up a, a little key the from little the key. rings. Um, the the Cobalt Scar key quest wasn't implemented until later in Valius. It was like a month in when they suddenly realized, oh shit, we need a quest for this. But on release or on launch, it was just that mob and nothing else. Shit's yeah. classic. And it was like that for, like like I said, one or two or three weeks, something like that. Uh, and then they suddenly realized, oh, damn, we're dumb, and they put a quest in for it. Yeah, and I think they changed it to one key uh, could port a group into Kaboltskar. Huh. Yeah. So eventually it gets changed to where that's literally not an issue? Yes. Yeah, not as much as an issue. That was in the patch notes, I recall reading. Oh, yeah. hybrid penalties go away after a couple months. That's Hooray! Oh, <laughs> don't, don't fucking... I'm pretending that doesn't happen, so I still look at EverQuest longingly every now and again, because, like, with that impending, I just don't want to play until it happens. Well, you can always play an Ixar uh, Shadow Knight when that happens, because also, Velius is going to have plate armor for Ixars, isn't it? It should. That's, that's I don't know if it comes at the start, though. No. Uh, it's, it's the valiest part of valiest that you actually get it. Uh, it gets patched in. Plus, well, they get uh, they get new uh, hate and fear armor. Oh, okay. Yeah, and uh, Chara gets revamps. <clears throat> Take that, AOE groups. Take that! <laughs> yeah, that oh, doesn't happen Chara for a while, at? though, I think. When Chara gets revamped, oh my god. That's, like, the last part of it. Yeah, I want Fear to get revamped. I love what they do. To I the, love the Kazakh Brain item. Does yeah. it have a gen on it? It, it mm, maybe flowing thought. definitely flowing thought. That's what I was excited about. Yeah, I don't there's a ridiculous regen plus 30 SV all shoulder pads that drop from Draco. Oh, and the shoulder protection. Yeah, that's pretty oh. awesome. I'm I'm hyped that I'm pretty sure Invelia's Spirit of Wolf gets knocked down to level 30 requirement for Rangers. Oh, and they get Panic Animal or Charm Animal or something. Panic like that. Animal. You can actually reverse <laughs> yeah. kite and kill a mob by yourself. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah. That's when Rangers actually get good at the game. Oh, and you get the oh, wow. better quiver, too. Relative. Plus, plus Weapon Shield, weapon which is pretty awesome yeah. for tank switching. 
sacrificial rangers. <laughs> yes. And they get a uh, fear animal. Are a little longer. Uh, fear animal? Yeah, that, that's panic animal. We already yeah. went over that. That's that's the good shit. Uh, you that fairly early, you get that. I think second cycle, which is fifteen. Also, don't paladins get torpor as well? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? No. <laughs> Just uh, I, I swear, like there was a heal over time that paladins got. Yeah, I think uh, I think ten paladins were just made. <laughs> let, let me let me go look at this because I swear it was. Why? That might be Lucelin. I don't think they get a, a new spell, a uh, new heal. They get uh, divine strength though, which is uh, pretty awesome, and something else. Yeah, I, they I... get celestial cleansing, single target heal over time. Did you say cleansing? Yes. Cle <laughs> cleansing, whatever. I'm gonna cleansing the shit out of you. <laughs> no, but they get a heal over time. That's what I thought they did. It's 175 hit points every six seconds for 24 seconds. That's Level like 50, a ranger huh? heal. I know. Sirk and check uh, your Skype chat real quick. Sorry, I'm, sure that's I'm what so I do distracted by Level 5 you. cleric heal. But, uh, no, I appreciate the fucking, the ranger love, but they don't get, uh, competitive until AAs happen, and AAs aren't happening because they make everything else even more stupid. Well, like, oh, and they get only rangers, the Predator. Like, if only rangers got AAs, then it would be fine. Because then they'd be good DPS. Is, the attack buff is basically all they're used for. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? They'd be used for something besides death. And since there's no beast lords to, in this, I mean, you don't really have it, like share, spirit, spiritual share, whatever it is, and beast lords get. Yeah, I were beast lords bad. I was, Honestly, yeah, they were. Like, like from bad from. And from Bad in a way that Beast Lords ruined Swords the amazing. whole mentality of being able to do anything useful. They looked great, they could solo like a champ, but when it came down to it, they're shamans with more melee capabilities. Yeah, hey, they're shammy so, monks. The shammy monks. But the problem, really, with Beast Lords is that they were useless. If they had done something <laughs> less interesting, I could, or useful in a raid or something, I would love to see, see? that. I really like the concept of Beast Lord because I'm a pet junkie, and so, like, the, well, the idea... It. It's not the same. That puppy is an asshole. Like, it doesn't do anything useful. It doesn't do anything useful. Not that it's the Cleric Hammer, your point. Well, or the Wizard Sword, but... The Wizard Sword is great. <laughs> Don't hate that Wizard Sword. <laughs> but, I like, can't stand that hammer. I'm sorry. I have, I, I have PTSD over that I hammer. I like the Beast Lord pet because it's a permanent fixture. Like, that fucker is always there. Well, it depends on your uh, your race, right? What pet you have? Yeah, what what it is. Uh, Ixie's got the scaled wolf. Ogre's got a bear. Shaman, I think, got a crocodile that made obnoxious noises. Let's talk yeah. races for a second. Mm. So, out of the three races that were introduced post Velius, which one do you think would actually be make sense in classic? Wait, what's the third? Just right. half halflings being able to be rangers and and paladins. No mass case, just saying. I'm saying there's Frog Lux, there was uh, Vashir, and then there were Dragon. Yeah, dragon so I, I have haven't no even seen the all. Dragon ones. The Dragon ones are basically humans that with better stats. I wish I was joking. <laughs> they um, cannot be Shadmans, they cannot be Beast Lords, they're humans with better stats. I say do Vashir with uh, Karen modeling, and... Frog Lux, but they don't get to take over uh, yeah. Rob. Uh, and they get the old classic model. That'd be cool. And uh, I'm, I'm okay with the Frog Luck model just because of the flips. The flips are great. The flips are great, yeah, I will agree. Like, the only way I could play a wizard would be a Frog Luck just because it'd be endlessly entertaining. Every uh, Frog Luck I'm going to is... cut in on you guys real quick. I got to take off for the night. Um, everybody, thanks for listening. Uh, have a good night, everyone. Click follow if you haven't already, and we'll see you guys next Monday. And you okay. guys all have a good night. Thanks for showing up. It was awesome talking to you. Darevale, I love uh, you, and I hope you have a wonderful night.
I will. You too, sir. I'll do those things that we just talked about. Have yes. a good night, Daravel. See you awesome, there. guys. Thanks, Everybody have a good night. I'm going to go watch a movie. You guys take it easy. Also, uh, just to wrap this up here, um, frog locks, they were cool, but every frog lock I've ever met th that played a frog lock character was very derpy. They suffer from the same problem that Vosher Beast Lords did, Halfling Druids did, and Tauren Druids in World of Warcraft. They all had the same problem. You know what that problem was? They're played by complete idiots most of the time. Yeah, that's the problem with a lot of people on the internet. Oh, wait, old, if old Froglock slipped, then I'm in. I wouldn't know because Guck is a no-no zone for rangers. Oh, we don't go there. Yeah. How would they flip? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, man. It would be great. <laughs> they, they just, like, go ahead first. I mean, I, can I can't even imagine that, really. They have no real, like... No, they could flip. They could do a backflip. Like, it's a thing. They'd fall flat on their head. Their body isn't proportioned. <laughs> nah, you know what? It's like the dwarf rule. Well, I mean, fucking, you don't think dwarves could do that shit, but that's the best part about a dwarf. Dwarves are crazy, though. I mean, I can understand because dwarves' proportions are kind of square, but... You know what? Fucking, as soon as I remember how to work Blender, I'll make it happen. Okay. Well, we have tools coming for animation soon, so do that, and I'll make it a thing. All right. Excellent. You heard it here first. P99 flipping frog locks. <laughs> Shit's classic. <sighs> Not classic. Completely yes. classic. Um, the same yeah. Playing rangers and paladins would be awesome, though. Same for gnome shadow knights. Yeah. Uh, Laris wants to know any plans discussed post Velius. Uh, actually, we already covered this in the, s the stream. Uh, there was going to be a third server. This is what Nilbot called me, word for word, so it's not my own words. A uh, third server. It's not going to be a continuation. Of, we're not going to, like, continue on with the red and blue. It's going to be a third server with the starting at Classic, going to Velius, and then going past Velius with custom content. Meaning there's no Lucklin, there's no Planes of Power, none of that crap. That, that was the announcement tonight. That's, that's the thing? Yeah. Classic. Uh, classic Kunark, Velius, then Custom. Slash, like, probably the the very popular opinion of throwing in the Planes of Power linked to Classic Zones, or the, not the Planes, but the different Planes of Power raids to, like, Classic Zones, like putting Fire and Soul or something. Well, I'd rather see it all be Custom, like, completely Custom. When some, you of think of some of them were good. Some of them were good. was awesome. Planes like, of Power was a good expansion, but it, honestly, the zones wouldn't fit with any lore. Like, I had this really good idea when I was younger, which I, I still sit by, which was having a boss fight against Visha. Like, have her span the course of three zones and have four different NPC models that can, are just basically her feet, and you have to take down her feet in all four of the zones at the same time. That would be awesome. <laughs> the logistics of making that a thing sound nightmarish actually like the uh, farm fight isn't it yeah i don't know to be honest, would, she, I don't... would there be a different variance timer for different feet okay <laughs> <laughs> uh, i mean otherwise because then i, I you mean you could, lock down all pop it, you could pop at this you pop at the same time and they'd have to be killed at the same time you ever see those boss fights in modern mmos where you have to kill all of the um yeah but those are in the same zone <laughs> Yeah, but you can do this across zone with cross zone signaling. I mean, how do you think boats work? How is a boat supposed to tell another boat when it goes across a zone? Boats are magic. Pure sorcery. <laughs> like, <laughs> no one knows how boats work. I love I mean, that. <laughs> now, now that we're back on boats, we should really hammer out this this ghost boat casino thing. Yeah, now that the the RMT police are gone, <laughs> I will give out a hundred chance if we can get this ghost boat casino going. I can write a script for it. I'll be honest. I've done it. I've done casino scripts. Before. No, 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 no. There's not going to be any script writing. I'm going to turn Darabale into a boat, and we just You're ride around in a boat. And and people are going to ride around on Darabale gambling. And just do it in the. We need to make a the boat model global in one of the next updates and we're gonna have to do it in east commonlands you can canoe in east commons you can canoe but it's not a ghost ship 
well, the boats, and I'm sure you could write something to make this a thing, but we, right now, the way we do it, the boats only are movable over water. So I can't turn right. myself into a boat and, like, run through South Karana. Well, what you could do, there's actually a flag in the client. I can look into it. I mean, I could get it working on a local test server and give you guys the code and go from there, but... I mean, it would be pretty cool just to have a floating boat casino. It would be really cool. It would be really cool. The problem is we can't have it, like, just 24-7. It would have to go away. I know. I know it would have to go away. Casinos, man. They're dirty as shit. I mean, the the biggest thing is you guys still haven't done the event in Velius for, or Kunark for the Oakwind. So you got to get cracking on that. There's a lot of events that we just didn't do. Yeah. Like the one I, with the hole. I have fond memories opened. of Rogan uh, controlling the NPC. Uh, and uh, the, the first GM event we ever did was Kith at Forest, I think. And we had Rogan going in there and saying things like, Rainbows! Right out of uh, Fiona Vey's mouth or something like that. Or Lance Tavell, one of the two. It was great. You had, you'd have to be there. I was not there. It was great. <laughs> You'd have to be there. It's one of those wish you were here things. Put me in well, I killed so many people with dragons for events. It'd be great. I can tell people that might have missed the ghost ship stream. You can go to youtube.com slash circump99 and see it because it's there. Wait, there was a ghost ship? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Ghost ships Classic. was a thing. We, I believe we turned... Either we turned Nyx into a ghost ship and Darabale was riding her, or we turned Darrow into a ghost ship and she was riding him. But there was booty involved, and I and know a, at and some a chest point, of treasure. the actual boat came and, like, stole the passenger off the goat <laughs> boat, ghost boat. Like, there was piracy. Legit was piracy funny. was going on in the ocean that day. And that was also used in a clue on a different event. Uh, whoever asked if that's the ghost ship, that is indeed the ghost ship. <laughs> I think during the uh, the Christmas event, the uh, the ghost ship crash landing spot was where someone was hidden. Jeez, oh, nice. I love how fast people find links to shit. <laughs> <laughs> I can pull up things pretty fast myself, but I don't know. It just, I don't know. Like I don't care enough, I guess. But I guess cucumbers, so. you were on that. I love his signature if he's the same cucumbers on the form. It's the or same. The cucumbers. avatar. It is. Definitely cucumbers. That is awesome. He's good people. He's, he's the one with the X, sorry. I have yeah. vague memories of it. <laughs> it's A. Yeah. It got animated. There's a tongue now. Yeah, oh, I think no. it's. What is it, David Hasselhoff with a uh, an I think XR? It's Burt on Reynolds, it. no? I think it's oh, Burt Reynolds. Reynolds. Yeah, yeah. Oh god. Oh no, I'm not a peck detective. I couldn't actually like determine who that would be. You should. Well, see, I'm I'm older than you. I know who Burt Reynolds is. <laughs> I'll I'll be honest. Like straight up, I know barely any actors. It's one of those things that like I've never cared to learn. Like you can name a name, and I'll just fucking who. Knowing a name of an actor will never help you in real life. That's, that's why I know none of them. So, yeah, save that brain space for something else. It's like, I know, I have the important ones, like Chuck Norris, and, you know, it's the good <laughs> shit, but, like, fucking, I... Until recently, I had trouble figuring out what a Vin Diesel was. <laughs> is that something you give a girl when you really like her? Yep. <laughs> yep, that's exactly what it is. A rock. All right, I think I'm gonna head to like get get out and get some food. And uh, thank you so much for having me on the stream tonight, guys. And uh, it was really nice talking with you and the community. It was incredible, actually. I'm glad you guys gave me the opportunity to, to do this. And I hope maybe someday I'll be back. It was a pleasure having you, and I am sure you will be back. All right. Well, congratulations. You guys hit uh, 110 viewers today. I saw that. Oh, a plus. Yeah, That's a lot. Holy. Probably more than that. I didn't pay attention that long, but it was 110 for a little bit there. But, uh, I have too many things on my monitors to see the actual chat page. All I can see is like the chat room box, and then the rest of the window is blocked out by the Skype thing and the XSplit thing. And 
You don't use OBS? No, I don't use OBS. I, I, I tried ball, to get him on sorry. that train. I tried to get him on the train too. It's not happening. Yeah, well, XSplit <laughs> is pretty nice. I just don't. I don't like it. It's simple and it's easy and it lets it's me do so what I ass. want. Oh my god. No, OBS was a pain in the balls. Like you thirty seconds. No, OBS was like, hey, well, uh, blah blah blah. You're doing it wrong. And I was like, nope, fuck you. I'm out. And I went right to X, right back to X split. I was say my favorite thing about the X split though was when I don't even remember when he was throwing up ads on your screen, like it it was putting a link over your stream. And like we couldn't figure out what it was coming from, and then I realized that X, but literally just advertised on everyone's stream. Wow. Because it thing? can. Yeah, that was the thing. See, I paid for X split. I don't so know. So did I, but you don't see me using it anymore. <laughs> but I don't feel like they put a X split thing on my thing. I, if if it wasn't your stream that I was in, it was someone else's. But I definitely. Oh, you know what they did. X-Split. They did try to do that. They put it in like the bottom right, I yeah. think it was, but you can't see it because it's only um, on the stream. No, maybe. Hmm. Yeah, like because it was only if you're watching it on Twitch. Like that's the only way you would see it. Well, I don't care. It's not a thing anymore. It's gone. Not, but it was a thing. Secret. Well, have a good night, guys. Yeah. If you have yeah. anything else you want to link or in stream or plug or whatever, you feel free. Uh, I'll plug my friend's stream who. Uh, plays games sometimes. He plays P99, actually. Uh, I used to go to high school and middle school and elementary school with this guy. And he's the one that got me into request. so big plug to this guy. Go there, twitch.tv slash stealthbeast. Follow him, watch his stuff. It's good stuff. Yeah. He does retro games. He does newer games, Dark Souls. Uh, that He's a good buddy of mine. Known him for a while, but right now he's playing a game called Well of Souls, I believe, and it's crazy. It's a game that I used to play way back in the day. So I like it. Uh, and uh, t- last question was: Secrets are your you are an old pup? Yes, that is me. Yes. All right. So have a good night, guys. Have a good one, Secrets. Secrets. See ya. Bye. Ooh, I almost hung up on everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I do things. <laughs> what, Lab Monkey? You you can have those feelings, but know that I love you. So much that love. Never change. Unless you kill a dragon, oh. then fuck you. Go die in a hole. Arg, don't tell him. <laughs> no. <laughs> you know what? It's universal. I'm, I'm not, I will hold no bars. Fucking it's really me. just a uh, beta shade. Right, so it's not really me. <laughs> A plus. Fate is not real life. It'll get wiped. Exactly. You can kill all the dragons you want there. Well, I don't know about that. <laughs> not, I'm not about that dragon killing life. Not a big fan of Western wastes. What? <laughs> He's also not a big fan of things <laughs> above level thirty. Yeah. So yeah, Western so wastes. Western Waste is not his familiar zone. I, I honestly, I can recognize that it's a zone from the name. I have no idea what it even is anything about. There's just a uh, bunch of dragons walking around doing shit. Oh, yeah. I have determined that there are dragons on the killable list because they aren't on Ring of Scale or Claws of Bichon faction. Interesting. In so fact, you're a racist. In that faction. So you're a, a Hall of Testing fan. It's, I'm just saying, if, if you're loyal to the Durgans, you can kill shit like Track because he's not, he's like undead. Tra- dragon. Yeah, he's technically a zombie dragon. Well, yeah, the, there's there's two theories that he was um, the one, because there can only be one type of dragon at any time, otherwise they fucking eat each other. And he mm-hmm. was one type of dragon, that's why there's no water dragon, I think, or air. I think it's air dragon. Yeah, and water dragons. but then people think that he is a diseased dragon, but he's undead, so that just kind of comes with the territory. Yeah. So yeah. you can see like bone and shit when you really look at him. Mm. He's a zombie dragon. He should not be trusted. He should be killed on sight every time. Yep, he is not. He is not an official dragon. But that's good, Uber Bandit. I feel like 
like we're making progress there, with you. There, there are targets that I can hit. As long as they're not, like, I, unfortunately, any guild that decides not to go for Dragon Faction and Velius is on my shit list. Oh. <laughs> because I, that's, that's it. I, I can kill giants or whatever the fuck it is. Is it giants? Giants are in there. Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, you still it's... kill dragons, too. <laughs> Don't tell him about faction. <laughs> year and a half from now, he's just going to be killing every dragon that walks. He's just going to run it's around. Only immersed in Villas. Just let him have fun running through the snow. <laughs> yeah. Slain no. cougars. Oh. But I'll be able to fear when Velius. Who are you kidding? There you go. <laughs> Who needs dragons? I can make pumas spooked. Yup. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking, oh god, it would have been so nice to be able to solo Cayman, like, while looking for a group because Panic Animal it would have been so good. It would have been way OP. Yeah, you heard it here first, Rangers, OP and Velius. Rangers, OP always. <laughs> In constant <laughs> need of nerfing. They, they have map hacks from level 1. This is my favorite part uh, about pulling, especially because I've been grouping in the high keep basement. And I can literally just sit my ass down and push my track button. I don't have to run around figuring out when a pop is up. I just, oh, hey, it's on my list. It's the newest one. Go run over to it and bring it back and then sit my ass down, mash track. Is it is it really that hard to find uh, mobs in the basement of high keep? Uh, no, but you very consistently, if you have a decent group, will uh, clear it out. It's not yeah. a huge camp, but the gobby ears and the fact that it's like the safest thing ever. In fact, I'm not. I'm still bound at G face buyers, and I've been there for like three levels. Wiggity woo. Yeah, high keep is an awesome zone. Yeah, the only way I could die at that camp is I forget to click off my dark evolution when I run to upstairs. <laughs> Don't ask me how I know that. <laughs> Good job, Randy. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, it's really useful there, though, because there's Shaman that casts slow, so it's like legit buff slot usage. It sounds very legit. And Rangers get cancel magic, eh? Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. eh? Why do you need a Dark Elf Illusion killing things on high keep anyway? Ultra Vision is really nice. Okay, I'll give you that. <laughs> it's not, you know what, though? It's not even close to how bad it was on live. Back in no, but it definitely got noticeably worse at like some point from when I left to come back. Like, I can't play a human anymore. It's just not gonna happen. It was it was never that bad. Uh, my very first character for like two hours, and then I rerolled was a human Shadow Knight, and I got <laughs> griefed up right off the character by <laughs> Holly Windstalker. <laughs> and so I rerolled an Erudite. And the first time somebody gave me a summon cold stone because I was complaining about my vision, I wanted to quit. Like, I was so mad that other people could see better <laughs> than me that I wanted to quit. Like, that's how frustrating it was. I had a, uh, I had a, a friend in real life that um, he had, like, a really bad monitor, and he played a human. So any, any zone that was, like, outside at nighttime, he would call me up and I would have to log on his account and run him through the zone for him. Because he couldn't see anything. <laughs> hey, he play like it was quite a few plus that have access to some sort of vision. Uh, I think it was a ranger. Oh, human ranger. You know what? No, real ranger would have tracked their ass through that zone. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I know where this guy is. Track, run at him, or use him as a compass. It'd be fine. Oh, yeah. Also, no, if track, you I'm... track still has uh, light blue cons. Mm, bug form. Well, here's the issue. I can't really tell the difference anyway, so I'm not terribly concerned. <laughs> like, Basically, you don't want to lose light blue cons from your track list. Well, no, it looks just like blue or green. I feel like every other ranger on the server is losing their shit that you just told me that, by the way. Well, it's fine. I mean, <laughs> there why, are... why does that even matter? They I, are really is, butthurt like... about the light blue con and the color text box thing. Well, there are two different colors greens one is what used to be light blue and one is what used to be green yeah one Wait, should still give you xp and one shouldn't yeah it just cons green it's just a slightly different green than actual green okay. oh so you mean the actual really physical away. color is still different yeah it's different it's not the right green god damn it <laughs> god damn it Someone suddenly everyone else is now losing their shit because now we, they know this <laughs> 
Oh, god damn it. Well, I'm going to have to tell Nobog both of these things. It, it took me, like, a good solid hour to figure out the difference between green and blue in the text box anyways. <laughs> it's fucking hard, because, I mean, I could try to tint it not just color, but, I don't know, the way the opacity and gradient worked on the target box made it a lot easier for me to see. But I could okay. not... I cannot tell the difference in the chat box. <laughs> They're basically like green is like a darker green, but that's about it. Like I can tell them green right is a point. darker green. He says, "Oh, I'm a little blue yellow colorblind, so I have issues telling sometimes." Hmm. Yeah, and so. It's, Literally, is like, I'm so glad I have my track window because with the salmon colored track window, it's enough that, like, I can tell the difference. Mostly it's when they're next to each other, I can tell the difference. But if I'm just fucking clicking a thing, I have no fucking idea if that's green or blue or <laughs> yellow or white. That's the other one that's really fun. Um, Sorry, I was reading chat. I was trying to read some, read some words. Yeah, well, light. Well, chat wants to know. Yeah, to light, light blue matter, and like, light blue really doesn't matter yet, except for pet level, which I think isn't even entirely relevant because you I can feel still like I missed something. Thing. Why does chat room feel like I'm smoking crack? What do you mean? I don't know. I see some things like hit that crack pipe and crack is whack, and and things about smoking crack. Someone hitting the crack I, pipe. I think you're losing your goddamn mind, sir. I don't see any of that. Maybe you're mm. smoking crack. I think this is like the withdrawal. Are, are you itchy? I'm not itchy. It's but if I'm smoking setting. crack, I wouldn't be itchy. It's when you stop smoking, I believe. <laughs> well, that's the thing, is you're also like seeing random crack related things in the chat. You're obviously going through withdrawal. You're hallucinating. Maybe. Maybe I'm just halluc... No, I don't... Look. 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 Have you had any especially good breakfast burritos lately? I haven't had a breakfast burrito. Not saying burrito. someone spiked your... Breakfast burrito with cocaine, but it's possible. I I ate I I ate half a breakfast burrito and got sick, and so now the taste of breakfast burrito fucks with me, and so I haven't been able to eat a breakfast burrito since then. But I've been eating other wonderful things like um, toast, and I had some rice, and. Other it things. Chat claiming it hurt a light or hit a bowl. Um, chat's crazy. Don't believe yeah. what you hear on the internet. Let's put it in RNF. That'll be true. <laughs> he Sergan definitely isn't muted for the reasons that you're suspecting. He is having legitimate. I'm not issues. muted at all. Why? Why you gotta make things up? They don't. They don't need to know things. I'm sorry, I'm hallucinating. You're hallucinating. You're going through crack withdrawal, sir. That's no. what's going on here. But, but family friendly tonight. Very family well, friendly. That went out the window when you showed killing dragons. Oh. I have showed this dragon die like a bajillion times. Cause and every time you do, a part of me dies as well. This I video, it into an my soul is crushed. This video is act is actually like two hours long. But I accidentally show the login ID or login account name for uh, one of my test accounts in the beginning, like at like 37 minutes in. And then I fucking, uh, I totally forgot I was recording when I got back from the gas station and I started just doing shit on the computer and then pulled up EQ and was like, oh my God, I recorded all that shit. And so, like, I'm writing emails to people. I'm answering emails. <laughs> Fucking, you can see me log into my email. And it's not, like, GM Circus stuff. It's all, like, real-life shit. And I'm like, nope, we're ending this video before that happens. And that's, like, at the hour 30 mark. So a two-hour video just got cut into, like, 53 minutes. And and i just been looping it because I'm feeling extra lazy and didn't want to log into the game and run around. I could probably make a little flip book out of screenshots. You really shouldn't encourage or cater to my laziness. It will really... <laughs> you have no idea how bad it will get. I think I did laundry three times in 2013. I went to the store to buy clothes more times than I did laundry <laughs> last year. Yeah, that's usually how I treat washing my clothes. 
Like, it is bad. This 2014, I've been a lot better, a lot better about laundry. It's getting bad again. But I've been so better. Laundry. My, yeah, laundry. That's where this conversation just went. I personally hate laundry. I, I am ambivalent. <laughs> like, laundry can be or cannot be taken. Ah, uh, laundry. You just need a, enough clothes so that the decay of, of laundry time doesn't overlap. It doesn't even take that fucking long. You throw it in there, you put some fucking soap down, you turn the dial, and you do something else. Then, like, tomorrow you're like, oh, fuck, that's right, I did laundry. Then you take the half-wet clothes out and you put them in the dryer. I can't do that shit. I got fucking other people in the building, so if I leave shit in the washer overnight, they'll fucking just move it. Just take your clothes. You, you gotta, when you start something, you gotta finish it. Well, then hand wash that shit. You are just fucking fill, crazy. Fill up a, okay, here's what you do. You fill up a sink, and no, then fill no, a bowl of no, fucking no, you, soap, nope, and you throw all your clothes in. in. Nope. In fact, use the bathtub. Nope, you lost me and fill up the sink. You get a hand mixer. You are fucking crazy. <laughs> get a washboard. <laughs> all of the words coming out of your mouth are fucking crazy. I will set my clothes on fire and buy new ones every week before I go through that. What? That just is crazy. Bathtub and a really, like, industrial strength mixer. No, I have to bathe in that tub afterwards. I'm going to bleach my fucking skin off. <laughs> All of this is absurd. Wait, absurd. Why are you bleaching the fuck out of your clothes? Don't you have to put bleach in with clothes? No, not if you don't stain the shit out of it. What's in laundry detergent? Are you getting, like, blood on your clothes? Yeah, like, I'm not sure. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes that's a thing. <laughs> but listen, listen, this is serious now. What's in laundry detergent? Is bleach not in laundry detergent? Because I not really thought typically. that was a thing. Some detergents, no. there's bleach. Yeah. But, like, it's, you what very specifically pie? use detergents that aren't bleach because bleach is bad for shit. Bleach is bad for shit. Don't drink it. It's a profound statement. <laughs> Leech is bad for shit. <laughs> oh, A plus, Super Bandit. I speak the truth. You can't deny it. All right. Apparently, people think I'm a crazy person. So. <laughs> okay. Yeah. See, I'm not crazy. <laughs> I just assumed there was bleach in that stuff. <laughs> I just assume yet. they're all jealous that they have to do laundry and you don't. <laughs> That could be a thing. They don't have to, though. That's the thing. They feel like they have to. They're just they not don't. aware. There are other options out there. Exactly. You can just burn them and buy new ones. You could just have a fucking garage sale every week and sell the clothes and then buy new ones at the Starvation Army. Uh, it, it got so bad, you guys. I had, like, so many dirty clothes bins full of dirty clothes. I <laughs> It's, that's the thing. You, like, if you do it enough, then that shit doesn't happen. Because then you're like, oh, I only have to fucking yeah. This will take one load. Just keep it one load. Whenever I'm bored and I'm like, oh man, I gotta do laundry. I go downstairs and I open the washer and there's always some asshole. Or I'll go down there and I'll hear the machine. Like, there's always somebody doing laundry. And then when it's not being used, I'm just not in the mood to do laundry. I guess. Yeah, just put that shit in the dishwasher. Do something. Dude, I got dishes in the dishwasher. It might actually work. It would absolutely work, as long as you didn't put dishes and clothes together. Man, it'd be fine. It won't be fine. Actually, it might not work, depending on how yeah. the, the, the dishwasher is rigged up. The clothes could clog that shit. Well, I mean, the dishwasher also doesn't really have an agitator, so... You mean, like, something to beat the clothes? Yeah. Um, yeah, to to move it so you know, you know it actually what? scrubs it and shit. Throw some like wooden spoons in there. Just throw them loose in there, and they'll beat around the clothes. What you could also just. What kind of dishwash do you have? <laughs> you can boil your denim like Frank Reynolds. <laughs> God damn it! God damn it! All right, I'm done. I'm done. I feel we've done good things here tonight. Yeah, we've we've laid a good groundwork for the ghost boat casino, right? And all other issues were sort of secondary. 
Well, I mean, isn't that realistically probably the most important of the issues we discussed this evening? It's number one to me. I don't know. I think everyone is now more knowledgeable about the dangers of bleach and that's bad for shit. And they know that bleach is not necessarily in their laundry detergent. Yeah. Just thought that was a thing. And it's bad for shit. <laughs> it's bad for shit. What can... Bleach, the silent killer. <laughs> <laughs> Who would have known? Um, if anyone joined late, we've been streaming for a couple hours. You can look at it at the youtube.com slash circump99. We'll be there. Uh, hit the follow button. We do this Monday nights, 9 p.m. Eastern. It's it's lots of fun. And and you guys, thanks for coming on. Other people who were on earlier, if you're still around, thanks for coming on. Uh, Arg, thanks a lot for coming on. It was your, your first visit here. And uh, it was great having you. It's fun to be on. I like him. We can keep him. A plus. I'll you've, feed him. You've got band clean up his pool. pool. Good, because I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to. <laughs> um, Uber Bandit, say goodbye. Yeah. Say goodbye. Aww. Goodbye, stream. It was it was short, but it was delicious. And sometimes, sometimes you just need that little bit at night to you know make the day. Good. Er. Gooder. Good er. Gotta have those gooder days. Yeah. I mean Peculiar fucking... way to leave it. Yep. <sighs> but the fucking dragon. <laughs> we need to alright, no. Close stream's going down before this fucking dragon dies. You have to you have to say goodbye to all the dragons that'll die tomorrow. <sighs> Rip. Rip <in> peace, dragons. <laughs> Oh god damn it! Asmode's got me on a an A plus counter. <laughs> Only seven. That seems kind of low. You know, I uh, I feel like I I didn't do very much talking this evening. We let Umbrella and Hokushin go back and forth for a while. We let Secrets talk about a bunch of things, and also I like that he also got you with the A plus counter because you read it <laughs> whatever whatever that's a dick thing to do <laughs> you guys are cahooting like he got it in the fucking photos before you even said it there's cahoots there's cahooting occurring around me uh, that's beautiful that's my done a plus um you can update that original plane of mischief is about 50 percent complete it's rebuilt to be the original with the wild card quests etc I'll try to get you an update before each Monday night. It should be open for beta testing in the next one to two weeks. Uh, there's still a lot of odds and ends that need to be finished, so the last zone being open for testing doesn't mean it's ready for release soon. There, guys, there's some Velius information. Last yeah. second from a dev. And more Velius information pending. So yeah. unfortunately, you have to come here for your shit. Nowhere else. This is this shit ain't in the forums. This, this isn't your mother's dev information. <laughs> this isn't your mother's dev information. Nah, this is this is straight from the horses. Um, I can't help it. That literally just came in. Like that was live yep. breaking messaging from a dev. So sometimes they come in at the very end of stream like that. Sometimes they don't. Um, on that note, though, I think we're still, I think we're still going to wrap it up, and I feel like we did parting words, but we literally got interrupted, like, as I was turning off the lights in here. We need a, uh, <laughs> the sound of a sputtering car dying, old-timer car. <laughs> <laughs> oh, god damn it. God damn it. All right. Going to put you nerds on hold. All right, guys, it's just you and me. Thanks for listening. Um, Arg and Uber Bandit, thank you guys for coming on. Arg, raid person, officer type for A-Team. You can check out their guild recruitment thing in the guild recruitment section on the forums, www.project1999.com. Uber Bandit, he streams lava lamps and Asian girls and sometimes video games over at twitch.tv slash uberbandit22. Go to those places. Um, if you're looking for a server to play Classic EverQuest on, we do it better than anyone else in the whole goddamn internet. www.project1999.com And if you 
missed this or you want to see the previous ones, it's all on the YouTube.com slash Circuit P99. Click a follow button and you'll know when we're streaming. Sometimes I advertise in the forum, sometimes I don't. Following's the best way to know. Uh, thank you guys very much for watching. Love talking with you, love interacting with you. Love all the wonderful things that the chat brings to the stream. And that's why we've actually started including the chat <clears throat> in the stream. Literally in there uh, over the last few streams. So thank you guys for coming on and hanging out with us too. And we'll talk to you later. Bye everybody.